What was the problem? Some agents will stereotype all the clients. I had, a bu I had three people hang up on me. I had mean people, I had nice people. You're gonna get a mix of everything, guys. And if you make enough calls, you'll find the nicest like me today, right? And what most agents do is they get hung up on and they they, they cry and go, go home. You ha when you understand the game, you're invincible. If I, if I made calls, for three hours a day, like I think every agent should, you know, when you get one, oh, it's beautiful because they just do deal after deal after deal after deal. I'm doing it. I'm showing you guys. I'm not just saying, here's how you do it. I'm saying, watch me do it. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Ricky Carew. Ricky Carew from Gulf Shores, Alabama. I introduce you. He's number one, not top four. He's the man of the real estate industry. So welcome, guys. Okay, here we go right here. So I look, I, I'm here. I'm trying to stack up some listings before August 17th. Boy, I'll tell you what, um, you know, I'm going to have to do an amendments to my listing agreements that I have. So there's no need in me even listing anything the same way I used to list stuff. So the new rules are in effect for me right now. So I'm playing the new game. I'm not playing the old game. So, um. With that being said, uh, I'm about to just dive right up in here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna start out just I'm gonna set a couple of appointments first. That's the first thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna call some for sale by owners, set some appointments for tomorrow, and then I may jump right on over to expireds. I don't know if I talk to a for sale by owner and they're looking to buy something. Then I may jump right over. I may jump right over to that, whatever they want to buy. Cool. So in the description, you'll see a Red X discount, $150 Red X discount. That's what I'm using to make these calls and make that money. And also the uh the set more listing appointments challenge, August 5th. This is going to be one for the record books, guys. If you're not getting involved in this, um, do the VIP. And I'll give you $100 off right now for the VIP uh, using the code 100 at checkout. So that's at setmorelistingappointments.com. You're going to get two hours a day with me for four days starting August 5th. The first hour is just Q&A. And the second hour, I will teach you more than you ever thought you was even possible to know about setting and closing listing appointments. Um, this one's going to be massive. There's already so many people signed up for it. So don't miss out on this. Hello. Hey, Miss. Yes. Ricky Caruth, EXP Realty here in Gulf Shores. How you doing? Good. Good. I'm enjoying the day. It was got a little cloudy, but now it's sun's out and it's hot. Right. Are and you muggy? Do you uh are you local down here? We are. Okay, cool. I saw you guys. Well, you didn't just put. Did you just put it up 17 days ago? Yeah. Okay. Yes. The, one um, in the, in the listing agent. Uh, several uh, agents over the almost year. Yeah. And so um, my um, folks have decided they want to do it for sale by owner, but we want to uh, partner with local agents who uh, have customers that might want to uh, purchase the house. It's your parents' so, house? Uh huh. What, uh, so several agents had it? What, uh huh. What was the problem, you think? Nobody comes to see it. I mean, why? What? I wonder why, though. You tell me. <laughs> I um, I think I used to they live. The aggressive marketing that typically listing agents do. They listed it wherever they needed to. They sent out postcards, you know, from um, their office. They yeah. had open houses. Um, yeah. Just you know, one of the issues. Obviously, it's a it's a very exclusive. Uh, development so it doesn't get organic traffic so mm -hmm. people don't just drive by yeah um you know we had uh professional photographs with it fully furnished we had photographs of it empty uh you know professional ones so <clears throat> everything was done that needed to be done so what we've decided to do is you know typically 
you have listing agents and buy, buying agents. Rarely does the listing agent sell their own listings. And so um, typically you guys are splitting either 5% or 6% commission, which is mm -hmm. the typical going rate. Yeah. So what we've decided to do is just to market to you guys to bring people in mm -hmm. and we're, we're offering a much higher commission. So okay. uh, that's, that's what we're aiming to do. What you, what you offering? Four and a half percent. Okay. Just you get four and a half if you bring the buyer basically. Gotcha. Yep, gotcha. To split with a listing agent. I gotcha. I gotcha. Yeah, they, they uh, um, there's like actually new rules coming into effect. I don't know if you heard about that. Uh, 17, mm -hmm. yeah. And really, we can't even list stuff the old way anymore, honestly, because the active listings we have, we have to do an addendum to them, basically okay. removing the buyer commission side. And then if the seller still wants to offer it as a concession, then then they can, but they're not obligated mm -hmm. to. So really we're taking listings at, you know, three now. Um, yeah. And then the buyers, they can off the seller can offer it something to the buyer concession, seller concessions if they want to, um, but they don't have to. And then the buyers just let me make that, put that in the offer if, if they want the seller to cover anything on that side. So it's going to be a lot. It's, <laughs> it's a lot different world that mm -hmm. we're moving into. Um, all right. Well, I get, I wonder if the, any of those agents ever like, um, targeted neighborhoods that would want to upgrade to and called those owners and said, Hey, I got a house in if you ever wanted to live in there. Uh, you know, um, I'm sure they did a lot of the typical stuff that everybody does. Nobody um, does that. Yeah. I'm not, I, I don't know anybody else that does that, but me, but, um, you're welcome to. Four and a half percent sounds good. I'll tell yeah. you, i tell you what, do you, does anybody live there? Is it vacant? What is the, that is, okay. I, I, um, I've had an open house um, and I'm opening it up again tomorrow between 10 and 2. Okay. So, you know, if, if that's a convenient time. Oh, yeah. Otherwise, you know, I can meet you there at some other time. No, absolutely. Let's see, 10 to 2 tomorrow. Huh? All right, cool. And I just, you just have to go to the front gate and say that you're here for the open house. At got it. Um, I'll, I'll plan on coming there around noon. Um, and you're going to be there? Yep, I will be there. Okay, and then you guys, you guys do, you guys live in another house? No. Okay. I actually live in Foley and my parents have just built and moved into a house in Okay. Okay. So, just to kind of be a little bit more centrally located. Yeah. Uh, they're both 86. So, uh, yeah. Things like hospitals, doctors, eating out, that mm -hmm. sort of thing become a little bit more um, important. Yeah. In their day to day. Gotcha. So, I live in. Grew up here with the Gulf, Shore, Gulf Shores Elementary. I've been selling for 22 years, mostly condos on the beach. But I, I think I used to live two doors down. From this house i was right there on retreat yeah that this one's on the right when you go when you're on retreat it's on the yeah i lived right there back in 2012 or so for about a year okay. I, I rented a house so uh, my folks uh moved in uh well they bought the house and moved down in 2000 gotcha and then you guys have been here for a long time in I foley oh, okay uh, yeah Moved down after they did. Mm. Um, I moved from Atlanta. So. Gotcha. All yeah. right, cool, cool. Well, again, my name's Ricky um, okay. Caruth, and um, yeah, I'll plan on coming there around noonish um, okay. if you're going to be there. And what is your what's your email address? I'll send you all my my contact. Thank you. All right. Bye bye. -bye. I mean, does it get much easier? I mean, like, like, look at that situation that just happened. Like, she will literally pay me um, four and a half percent, four and a half per cent to find a buyer. Wait. OK, OK. Y'all want to see something? I'm going to find a buyer right now. Don't tell me twice. Don't don't. Don't hand me four and a half percent 
and, and, and expect me to give it back to you, all right, I'm going straight to Geo Leads. I'm looking for a nice neighborhood right outside of that neighborhood. Uh, let's see. Who would want to move to... Don't hand me 4.5% because I will not give it back to you. I will not give you 4.5 cent back to you once you hand it to me. Oh, man, because it is. Okay, so you guys see what I did there? Okay, look what I got. If you're just tuning in, check this out. I just called the very first calls of her sale by owner. She She's paying a, somebody to find the buyer. She'll pay a buyer agent 4.5%. They're asking five. Let's see, what are they asking? They're asking five. No, no, 600. So 4.5%. What's that? That's 24. That's 20. 27,000. Let me get this dialer popping. I'm about to. I'm about to. I'm about to make twenty-seven thousand dollars. Hey, Ricky Carew, the XP Realty here in Gulf Shores. How you doing? I'm doing fine. And yourself? Doing good, man. Um, I didn't want to take up too much of your time. I, I saw you were on Hardwood Drive, and I didn't know if you'd be interested or not. But I got a really nice house over in next door that I'd love to show. I didn't know if you wanted to be in there or if you thought about, you know moving in there or not but there's a really nice one in there that's kind of on the market kind of not on the market if you're interested i'd love to show it to you yeah no we're good right here gotcha man do you have an agent down here do, do you have an agent down here you uh, normally work with if you were to do something two years ago we completely redid this house so this is gonna end up oh i got you man Oh, it just it just came up. I don't know either. It was just connected to. I was trying to call the people next to Benenza see if anybody's interested in moving in there. Hello. Hey, Miss. Uh, this is not my but this is her daughter. Oh, okay. This is Ricky Caruth over here at EXP Realty in Gulf Shores. How you doing? Good. How are you doing? Good. I was actually just calling to see. I know you guys are on or. I got a house. Yes, I got, I got a house in. I didn't know if you guys would be interested in. It's kind of on the market, off the market. So I didn't know if you guys were looking to maybe. I don't know if you guys are looking to maybe you know upgrade or whatever. But I got a nice house over there. If you guys were thinking about doing something. Um, I'm gonna give you her phone number so you can talk to her. I know we are looking to upgrade uh, into a bigger home. Okay. But I think we're looking for something on the water. Got you. Well, I can help you there too. What What is her name and number? And I'll um. And I'll give her a ring and see what I can do to help. All right. Thank I'll give her a ring right now. Thank you. Bye bye. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did you hear what she said? Now I don't know how the mom's gonna be. You know, she may be standoffish, you never know, but I'm gonna try to connect with her now. We are she said, we are looking to upgrade, but we're looking for something on the water. <laughs> okay. Okay. Selling real estate is hard. This is so hard. Hey, it's Ricky Carruth with EXP Realty in Gulf Shores. I just spoke to your daughter. I was calling. I thought I was calling you um, about your house. In I was going to let you know about this house. in But she told me that you guys were looking to upgrade, but really we're more so looking for something on the water. So I've got a few properties on the water as well. Um, I'd like to, you know, send to you or show you or, or what have you. So anyway, just call to see what I can do to help. Um, you can reach me here on my cell phone at let me just make a note about that one. Give a call back later. If she doesn't call me. <laughs> oh, by the way, guys, if you're watching this live, hit the like button. If they get, if you get the like button to be the same number of people who are watching it, it will literally like go viral. Let's see if we can get this thing to go viral. That would be funny. Wouldn't it? If it went, if, if a video of me went viral, but I literally just found a waterfront buyer. I found an, dude, I've been here. I've been making calls for like 15 minutes. I found a waterfront buyer and a four and a half percent buyer rep list, uh, you know, to, to sell a property and I'm calling looking for buyers. Don't hand me four and a half percent. But what's so cool is, is when I'm calling to sell that house, I end up finding buyers for waterfront properties. Like I said, I can't think of anything easier in this world. Hey, Miss, 
This is Ricky Carruth at EXP Realty in Gulf Shores. How you doing? You're, you're where now? You're from where? I, I'm from EXP Realty. I'm not selling my home. Yeah, I, w I wasn't calling. I wasn't calling to sell your home, ma'am. Just I guess a lot of agents call to get you to sell. Now I was gonna let you know I've got this house that is kind of on the market, off the market in uh. Pan I didn't know if you'd be interested in moving right over in there. No, I don't want to buy a house either. Okay, cool. Do you, do do you, do you have an agent down here? See right there, guys. Like people act like weird to me. People like weird to me, just like that weird. The, I make the same calls you guys make, but guess what? I turn them into something. Hey, Mr. Yes. Hey, this is Ricky Carruth, EXP Realty here right down the road in Gulf Shores. How you doing? Doing okay. Good, man. You enjoying the day? It's 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 pretty. Uh, yeah, I don't uh, live in the area, but. Oh, okay. I was, I was, I was, do you have a house on? I do. Okay, okay. I, I, for some reason, I thought it was a primary. I was calling um, there. I've got that is kind of on the market, off the market, real nice. Um, didn't know if you might be interested in it. You know, being right there next to you there. Didn't know if you might want to upgrade. Yeah, no, not interested at all. Gotcha, man. Do you, is it a rental? Um, the one that I have, yes. Oh, okay, okay. Do you Would you be interested in other rental properties in the area? Yeah. Okay. All right, cool. Do you guys do you have an agent that you that you would work with when you decide to sell that? Um, not at the moment, but we're not in uh, any rush to do anything like that. So I got gotcha. you. Well, cool. I've been here selling for twenty two years. I'll probably be here another twenty two. So, I mean, later on when you when you do decide to do something, I'd love the opportunity to to work with you if uh, if you'd give me that opportunity. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. It's uh, it's it's pretty slow. That's why I'm on the phone. I'm uh, doing doing what I can do to to keep it keep it going. But it is uh, it's it's slower than 08, honestly, as far as number of deals. But um, yeah, but pr prices are are holding pretty strong. Um, we're seeing some, you know, we're seeing a little bit of, we're seeing some lower deals here and there. But across the board, they're holding really strong, considering interest rates and. And, you know, the demand is a lot slower. So we're doing good. It's in, it's in, it's, in, it's increased dramatically. Yeah, it, 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 it's, in, it has, it has. We're, we're back to about pre pandemic levels right now, inventory wise. You know, we're, yeah, we're, we're, we're back, we're back, we're getting back to a normal market as in terms of inventory. So, um, but I tell you, I tell you the truth of it all. There's so much pent up demand. There's so many people that want to buy that are just sitting there, uh, waiting on, waiting on rates to come down. So, you know, when in fact they ever do drop, you know, it's, there's going to be a lot of buyers in the market. It, you know, if that helps you, if that helps you at, at all, cause, um, it's going to be too late. Once it happens, it's going to be too late. It's, it's, we're going to get swamped and I don't know how long that'll last. Maybe it'll be a quick, a quick wave or, yeah, I don't, it's not going to be a 2021 or anything, but, um, we're definitely going to get slammed once it gets down to around the six range, I would imagine. Oh, okay. Now we don't have that far to go then, I guess. Mm -mm. It's like a 6.8 this morning. So That's encouraging. Yeah. What you looking to do with that? How long you how long you gonna hold it? Uh, well, we need more than one. We are uh, our plan is to uh, liquidate and or ten thirty one into other investments. Um and try to do that uh, before the end of next year, before, before possible tax changes. So, yeah, I hear you on that. <laughs> I do hear you on that. Well, I tell you what, like I said, I've been here 22 years selling, mostly down on the beach. But uh, yeah, I used to live. Uh, I've lived. I was when I, I grew up. I actually went to Gulf Shores Elementary and Foley High School, but we lived down.
across from you, right across from you on the lagoon. We were there when I was 10, 11, 12, back in the early 90s for a while, maybe three or four years. Yeah, in a little house right there. But, um, hey, if, if it's all right, I'll just stay in touch with you. And um, if that's okay, and if you ever need anything or decide to do anything, you want me to price your properties or whatever I can do to help, you just let me know. All right. Why don't you text me your information, and uh, I will hold on to that. Okay. And I got I got one even better for you. What's your uh, what's a good email? Oh man, got multiple properties. He's looking to liquidate by the end of next year before the tax rules change. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Hey, this is Ricky. Hey. This is Ricky Carruth, EXP Realty in Gulf Shores. How you doing? I'm doing good. You got a house for? I got two there. You got two there. All right. It didn't have your name on the. Uh, I didn't see your name anywhere. What? Who are? Who are you? <laughs> okay. Oh, you build them. You build them. That's kind of what I figured. I'm not no. I ain't no big deal hoarder. I build them and flip them a little bit and you go from there and then do another one, do another one, you know, go from there. I don't blame you, man. I don't blame you. I do the same thing with foreclosures. I'll buy them at the courthouse, fix them up and sell them, get them gone. Um, uh, it's really, a, are, they, are these right next to each other? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. One's, in, yeah. One's, one's in front of the other one. Yeah, sure is. Gotcha, man. Uh, gotcha. All right, cool. Have you been around here a while doing this? been around a long time down here gotcha i i uh I, I went to gulf shores elementary and Foley high and i've been selling for 22 years and my dad used to own a roofing company so i may know you but um but anyway uh, we're, we're, you know, we're, uh, we're down here but we've lived here for 24 years so gotcha uh, i've been around living, you know have you ever heard so, of the caruths ricky caruth rick caruth real estate i'm sure i have I've okay been, uh I mean, I've had so many people reach out to me, the real estate people and stuff, but I know a ton of realtor people. So oh, yeah, of course you do. Yeah. yeah. yeah so. Well, how, how do I how do I take a look at these uh, if I wanted to take a look at them? Uh, you can, uh, uh, when you want to look at them. I mean, I'm... Um, so, uh, I mean, I'm down here by the Dollar General, you know, uh, like going to Gulf Shores, one on the left. Yeah. Six. Yeah. That's where I'm at right now. I'm just saying loads of stuff in the life. Uh, uh, you know, she's not here. But anyway, the, the grass guy just called me and said that they're going to, it'll be cut by 10 o'clock in the morning. So I said, that's good because, you know, people come by on the weekends and look and stuff. They just been slammed because of that damn rain, you know. Oh, yeah. Get everybody off. So, yeah. But I mean, I got them on Zillow. Um, oh, I see them there. there. For about three or four weeks, I think. Have you been, have you been getting crushed with a bunch of calls? Oh, yeah. With with yeah. with buyers? Uh, well, actually, I mean, I've got a couple of people out of Tuscaloosa uh, that's real interested, and I just got one called me yesterday. Him and his wife uh, is going to try to uh, get this weekend, and they're from and uh, they're going to sell their place down here, and they're they're wanting to get both of them. First, they wanted one, and I and uh, he said, "Who owns this other one?" I said, "Well, I own both of them." He said, "Oh, okay, okay." So anyway, you get with her and that. I mean, I've had a bunch of people, you know, um, very interested in it. You know what I'm saying? So, so when I, so yeah. when I'm, so when I look at this from Google, is one of them not facing the road and the one of them is? One's facing, one's facing County Road 8. Okay. 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 And you can drive, I can't see, but you can drive back behind it and pull in the front of the other one? Just, if you turn, uh, if you turn on County Road um, uh, on Grun, okay. it's right there on the left. The very yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's Grun. The other one's facing, uh, what is that, Sun, Sun, Sun Pine or something like that. Uh, okay. Yeah, so. Uh, gotcha. What you think, what you, what, what you think those would rent for? Oh, those? I mean, shit, I've had people begging me to rent the damn thing. I, I, I'll i be honest with you, I think you could probably get... Uh, 25? Location and everything, at least 25. 25, yeah. I bet 25. Yeah. yeah. We're renting those DR Hort... Yeah, yeah. All right, cool, cool. Well, I'll tell you what... Um, 
let's see. Are, are the windows to where I can? Is there win, are the windows to where I can like um look in the house? Like I can just peek yeah. in? Okay, okay, okay. okay. All right. It's got a two-ton heat pump in it. Okay. And fix the carport where you can have a a sunroom out there and then close the front part of it because I got it I got it wired for that. So you know, put up a garage door if you wanted that. And I gave both of them. I got um. I got the washer dryer, stove, refrigerator, microwave, dishwasher, uh, two-ton heat pump, like I said. And if you enclose it, I've got enough air there to enclose that uh, half the carport. It's 40 feet by 12 feet. So, uh, you know, you can make a sunroom or another bedroom out of whatever you wanted to do, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, you know, if you rent it to people coming from the beach, then uh, you'd probably want to just put a couch and shit into there. You know what I mean? A, a fold-out couch. And Can shit you rent those? Like Can you rent those short-term? I didn't know if you could in Gulf Shores. Yeah. That right there. I'm in the county. Oh, really? Really? Property tax is half, half cut and two. Oh, snap. And uh, you're on Gulf Shores City Water, Gulf Shores City Sewer. and you're But you're not in the city. Place. That's right. Oh. You got both garbage pickup. You got both the school systems. You got. Uh, I wonder why the city does that. They're just like, oh, we'll we'll give water to the people in the county because it, they just make extra money. It's, yeah, it's right there. Mm. I mean, it's right in front of my house. So you know. Yeah. Um. Well, I'm. I'm. They did Stonehaven back here. They did all the city back there. Stonehaven, and also there are no HOs. So. All yeah. oh, right. Now, I, now I'm on the other side. Now I'm on the other side. I can see the front of that other house. So I'm kind of interested in these or one or both of these myself. But if I if or a client, if I were to have a if I get have a client interested, do you have some kind of commission built into this? Or uh, do I, just, uh, I mean, uh, trust me, you sell it. They're for sale. Yeah. And if you bring somebody to the table, you'll get your commission yeah. right off the bat. We man. can, we no, can, yeah, we can put it, we can put it in there, or whatever. I'm gonna, I'm gonna yeah. drive, I'm gonna drive by them tomorrow, um, when I'm out that way, and just take a quick peek, and uh, see what I think, man. Okay. Well, I'm just telling you, there, it's almost totally maintenance free, and also it's got a tankless hot water tank in it. Okay. And then it's got the three. Um, uh, I got quartz in the stand up shower in the master. It's a three quartz. Uh, it's, and you only got two seams down it, you know what I mean? Instead of a bunch of tile work and shit. Yeah. And then also, uh, uh, you got, I got a gas stove in it now, but it's also wired for if you don't want, want that, snatch it out and put you a, a electric because it's the wires there and everything. So, you know, you got to, you know what I'm saying? So, Absolutely. Man, hell, it's just, the kitchen, I mean, if you watch that little video on it, the kitchen has got tons and tons of cabinets. You know what I'm saying? But, but it's a no brainer for somebody to buy one and rent the other one out because Snowbirds is calling me from across over that new RV place over there. And mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. on, uh, they got friends that's wanting to rent it. And uh, so you rent one of them to the Snowbirds. And in the summertime, you rent to the, you know, you rent to the beach people. Right. And, uh, you know, go from there. So. I, that's what I'm saying. So it, I mean, it's a no brainer either way you look at it. But uh, um, if, if you, you know, if you want to do that, and and I, I've had, I bet you, a hundred phone calls wanting people want me to put down, put down like fifty thousand, and me finance the rest of it. And I'm not. I just said I'm not interested in that. I didn't build them to. Uh, I've got forty six duplexes in Coleman. You know what Coleman is? Yep. Yeah, I got forty six duplexes up there, so I don't want. I got all the rent I want to rent. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you, man. I hear. I got about I don't know thirty different homes and duplexes and stuff around Foley, Gulf Shore, stuff like that. So I'm getting there. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm I'm at the age now that I'm I'm ready to start getting rid of half of them, you know, yeah. over half of them. Right. You know what I'm saying so. Yeah, I mean, I've got people, friends of mine, that begging me to. You know, let them, uh, you know, let them uh, buy them and, you know, go from there. But, but like I say, me and my wife, we just, uh, <clears throat> we don't know really what we want to do. I mean, I got a big ass house over there on, uh, uh, by Pier 33, behind Pier 33. Yeah. Uh, on a, yeah. Is it on so, the lagoon? Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, well, let me ask you this. If you're still buy building and stuff, are you, you looking for lots too? Uh, well, yeah, uh, yes, I am. Uh, yes, and no. It just depends on the prices of them, you know what I mean? Because, you know, with the 
the interest rate like it is. I mean, I don't know nothing on them houses up there that you're looking at. Gonna look at. I don't know the damn thing on them. Yeah. And uh, I wouldn't have built them if I was gonna owe money on. Them. So, but anyway, make a long story short. Um, I'm, I, I've got three or four pieces of property right now that if I sell those, I'm probably going to buy two or three of the properties and and then either uh, sell them or either – I know I'm going to build a couple of houses on, on one or two of them, but, but you know, that's – that's in the future. Uh, you know, I did, like I say, I'm up my age, way up my age, and I want to be able to do what I want to do when I want to do it. And uh, I don't want to be locked down to nothing. I'm, so I, so I, I'm probably I, older than your dad. Well, uh, I, I am already there. I already want to do what I want to do when I want to do it. I don't yeah. think you got to be a certain age to get there. Well, I know, but I mean, it's just uh, when you've. Uh, uh, I don't know. You grow up like we did, and, and, uh, and yeah. you see all the shit that we did uh, over the years. For uh, we had a restaurant and everything. And, well, I worked at Birmingham, and my wife worked. Uh, I built her a restaurant, and everything, in Coleman, uh, open face, the first open face I had, the first Colombo yogurt and shit. But anyway, make a long story short, they got a bar uh, thing, a big restaurant bar out of it. I'm 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 I'm, I'm, I'm gonna swing through tomorrow and just take a quick peek, look in the windows and stuff. I got your cell number, so if I got any questions and. I'll uh let me wrap my head around it and and think about it myself and my clients and then also I'll keep you in mind if I if I run in any lots or anything that might be interesting. Mm. And there, uh, you got uh, water, sewer, and power. Uh, little thing there, you know, to hook your RVs to. And they're hundred. They the, the lady told me uh, three weeks ago there was one hundred sixty nine thousand mm. dollars. Now, what in the hell would you rather have a house for? You know what I mean? Yeah. For, uh, oh yeah, a brick house too. A brick house is maintenance free, actually. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, but versus versus something like that. I mean, to me, you just throwing your damn money away uh, right. on something like that. You know, but I've had a bunch of people. I had a couple of close friends wanted me to go on with them on uh, doing uh, them RVs things and shit. And I, I said, Nah, I, I don't get into that. Yeah, I don't either. Anyway, Appreciate you, man. Thank you, brother. Bye. <laughs> Golly. All right, all right, all right, all right. Um, a couple of things, man. Like uh, I see in the comments about Southern and stuff, guys. I don't, I don't know if y'all like um, like saw that like three people hung up on me today. I had three people hang up on me today. If you go back and watch the replay of this, I had three people hang up. I had like two people at really weird and like just really awkward and very like standoffish and weird and kind of not really rude but kind of like almost rude um i think the problem is you guys want to stare at not you guys i'm i don't mean to stereotype you i'm not some agents will stereotype all the clients right so you live in a metropolitan area and you live in a big city whatever so you just stereotype oh all the people are like this no they ain't some people are and some people are nice if you make enough calls, you'll find the nicest like me today. Like that was the fourth person I talked to. All right, dude, I had a bunch of people that didn't answer. I had a bunch. I had three people hang up on me. I had mean people. I had nice people. You're going to get a mix of everything, guys. Right. Quit trying to act like, oh, where I live, people are mean. Yeah, me too. People are mean down here. I just proved it. Three people hung up on me. Um. But you know what? I laughed and called somebody else and they were nice. Right? And what most agents do is they get hung up on and they 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 cry and go go home. You have when you understand the game, you're invincible. And the and the higher you build your uh like like the more you develop yourself into this person and the more you realize the real rules of the game, you realize that nothing can hold you back at all. The market can't hold you back because you can do what I did today and literally create deals out of thin air. See, see, like if I made calls for three hours, I got four leads, five leads, four leads, four leads in 30 minutes. If I, if I made calls for three hours a day, like I think every agent should, I would have 15 leads and now I'd have to go to work for those 15 leads. That's a lot of like following up with all this is a lot. And then like, if I make calls tomorrow and the next day, after I make calls for like three weeks, I would have so many leads and so much business and so much stuff I was following up on. I wouldn't have time to make calls anymore. If you guys would just sit down and make calls, you would get to the point where you got so much business happening. You don't got time to make calls. You know what I mean? 
But if you don't do it, you're just never going to have it. And I just don't understand. I will make calls in front of tens of thousands of people. I don't have a script in front of me. Like, I don't even know who I'm calling. I'm like, for sale by owner. And then I switch over to this subdivision. And then I'm like, well, let me call. I'm just calling people. I'm just calling people, right? Um, these could be, you know, YouTube leads. These could be Zillow leads that you spent 500 bucks a piece for. I got them for a penny. And these are better leads. And the what is a better lead than what I just did? Dude, I would, you know, the thing is, is these cost me a penny on Red X. But I literally would have spent thousands of dollars for these leads. I would have spent more on these leads than, than most people spend on YouTube leads, Zillow leads, and all the other leads, like sitting at open houses. I'd rather just sit here and just stack, 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 stack your body line. Like I would just completely be covered up. Like, I wouldn't even be able to see, bro. I'd be like the guy on South Park with his eyes hanging out. Just deals all around him. Before I call it a day. It's a nice little call session in the week, boy. I'm going into the weekend feeling strong. Stronger than I than I even am. Boy, that's that's tough. Hold on, Dan Daniel. Let me get you on here. Let me see. Uh, what you got, boy? What you got, Danny? Woo! Right. Talk to me, Ricky, man. That was great. Um, so I'm going to be, uh, cold calling tomorrow. It'll be my first Saturday. I've been calling all week this week. Oh, uh, you're going to love that, bro. People pick up on Saturday. Yeah. So it, do you think, uh, 9 a.m. is too early or is that, no. is that an okay time to start? Yeah, dude. Nine, okay, nine to six yeah. is fair game. I don't care when it is. I just don't like Sundays. I never called on Sundays. Sundays is like. That's that's, that's the Lord's day. It's, that Sunday is. Let me mute you, Israel. That Sunday is. Um, that's the day of rest, man. That's the seventh day. That's that's the day. That's that's the day you rest. You know. Okay. Um, I never want to bother anybody on Sundays. I didn't make a lot of Saturday call sessions in my career. I stuck to the Monday to fr Monday to Friday, but I did do some. Um, and they were fun. They were fun. But yeah, you just wonder what time to call. Yeah, I was just trying to get my head around that. I've been calling during the week, uh, starting anywhere from nine to ten a.m. Yeah, uh, I've been I've been averaging about four hours a day. I've called about sixteen hours this week. Nice, um, bro. What's some results looking like? Um, we 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 got some good stuff. We got um a lot. <laughs> nice. A lot of emails. Uh, do you today, get do you find a so, lot of situations to work on? Yeah. Yeah, yes. I, See, I was telling thing. one of the guys, I was telling one of the guys that I, I think I've spoken more about real estate transactions this week than I have the, the entire year. Dude, you know, I'm seems... telling you, dude, like, like you saw what I did, right? I called her for sub owner and she's like, oh, I'll give you four and a half percent. Were you here during that? Yeah. So she's like, I'm gonna give you four and a half percent, whatever to sell. I was like, okay, I'll see at the open house or whatever. Then I'm like, okay, who can I get to buy this? And I start calling people that might want to buy that. You know, like I turn, like, I'm like, that's a situation. Now let me go, let me go pursue that situation. And then what did I do? I found another situation of a lady that didn't want to do that, but they wanted to upgrade to a waterfront home. Okay. There's another situation. So now when I do talk to her and find out what, what she wants to buy, guess what I'm going to be doing? I'm going to be calling waterfront homes to find her one. I'm going to find, um, and, and then, and then they are going to want, you know, what, you know, and what I might do. Is, is see I'm I might call the waterfronts across the street from that house and the peninsula. There's waterfronts right across the street, and I'm gonna see if they want to buy the peninsula house, right? I'm not gonna say I got a buyer. I'm gonna say, do you want to buy the peninsula house, and then fill them out to see what's up, and then I know I got this buyer in my back pocket that I can pull out if I need it, right? Mm -hmm. But anyway, then I then I then that was that builder at the end. He had, those houses actually are a pretty good deal. For real, they are actually are pretty good deals. Um, but yeah, it's just about like, as you're calling, identifying situations. It's like I told that builder at the very end of the call, you look at you, would you want to be out buy some lots? You know, like that was just an extra little situation I threw in there, you know, to, to, to see, okay, is there an opportunity to sell this guy some lots? And then if I could develop a relationship with him and I sell him a lot, I don't, I'm not going to ask him necessarily to list that place, but if I saw, but if I helped him find a lot, 
I would ask him to let me list the house he builds on the lot, right? Mm -hmm. And I've done that with a lot of different builders. I'll, I'll, I'll find them a lot. They'll buy it. They'll build a house and I'll sell it. I've done that a bunch. Yeah. But yeah, man. Picked up, picked up two builders this week. There you go. Man, the builders are beautiful, you know? Like sometimes it don't work out and, you know, you can't really, you know, get on the same page with with something. But, but you know, when you get one, oh, it's beautiful because they just do deal after deal after deal after deal, you know? That's cool. Good stuff, Thank man. You, I, I appreciate you, bro. Um, Israel, did you have a question? I just wanted to give you a quick update. Um, I tried to fix uh, the Red X that you told me. But anyway, I wanted to uh, to celebrate something. Today I called a physical and I dared to ask him. I was like, I know you're going to probably hang up on me, but usually uh, people that sell for sell by owner is because they have bad experience. What was your bad experience with, with a realtor? And he was like, no, I'm just trying to get the most amount of money. And I was like, in that case, you should definitely list it because that's the way you get the most amount of money. And he was like so excited and explained to him about marketing, etc. And he's like, okay, uh, let's meet next week. And uh, I have a realtor friend, but I'm going to list with you. So nice, man. Yeah. That, that was pretty cool. Nice, like, don't bro. Don't be afraid. That's and it, also, man. And also, like, uh, when, when they ask you, do you want to list the house? I'm like, no, I'm not looking to list the house. I'm, I know that's from you, but that's awesome because, like, I'm not really looking to list the house because I can get a buyer to buy it without listing. I'm, yeah. I'm with, not wasting my time listing the house. So, like, when you come into that mindset, it's like it's a piece of cake. Nice, so, bro. Congrats, bro. Keep us, keep us in the loop on that, man. We want to hear about, hear about it when it happens. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, man. Absolutely. Cool, cool, cool. All right, guys on YouTube. Uh, good to see you. Um, this, this was just a couple of my coaching students and my coaching program. Um, if you want to join the coaching program, the first step is the listing appointment challenge, August 5th. I'm giving you guys a hundred dollar discount today. Just go to setmorelistingappointments.com and use the code 100 at checkout for the VIP experience. And, uh, it's going to be one for the record books because we're getting so close to the new rules and I, I'm about to turn you guys into some listing appointment setting and closing machines. You guys see, I'm not just talking about it, guys. I'm doing it. I'm showing you guys. I'm not just saying, here's how you do it. I'm saying, watch me do it. All right. All right. I appreciate you guys so much. We'll see you soon. Take care. Have a great weekend.